So for quite a while, we've been hearing unfortunate news regarding the airline of Etihad Airways. Some people believe that they deserve the turmoil that they find themselves in, but I'm with the opinion that they just find themselves in unfortunate circumstances. Some of their own making and some external factors which could not be predicted. Due to their troubles in recent months, they've sold off their premium lounges, in particular Heathrow Airport, they've cancelled their A350 order, and the latest news which is emerging, they've now cancelled their Airbus A320neo order. So the airline had an order for 10 of the A320neos and 26 of the A321neo planes, but the commitment to the smaller variant has been cancelled. In terms of the A321neo order, well, they still remain to be in place for now. It's all part of the airline's plan to restructure their overall fleet and review their capacity requirements. No doubt about it that this will be a blow for Airbus, be it very small, and some charges will be incurred due to the cancellation which has taken place. When the orders were placed for these planes, they were pursuing their aggressive expansion strategy, trying to do one over their fierce rivals of Emirates and Qatar Airways. However, in view of the recent losses and projected further losses in coming years, the airline is planning to scale back on their strategy, leaving many of these aircraft unnecessary. But ever since the arrival of Tony Douglas, who is the new CEO of the airline, they've taken drastic changes to cut back on their operations, reducing their fleet of 121 aircraft all the way down to 115. They've also cancelled a few of their unnecessary routes, serving around 100 destinations compared to 117 only but two years ago. It's actually quite sad to see such a popular airline declining very slowly. People used to look up to Etihad with them introducing amazing facilities such as the first class apartment and the business class studio. Their service is also impeccable, but it must be noted that they're not the only airline in the region who are suffering. Emirates has faced a decline in their profits due to increased competition and the rising cost of fuel. Qatar Airways is being affected by the boycott, and with the new airports open in Istanbul and Muscat, the situation is only going to get worse, but fingers crossed, it will all be alright. So captains, please do share your thoughts and opinions regarding this cancellation. Do you think they'll also cancel their A321neo order, or do you think this is the start of something new? Share your opinions and thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe as always, and I'll catch you guys very soon.